today we're going to attempt another DNA helix swirl. I said squirrel because I'm looking at one out the window. Um, a DNA helix swirl. And I've got the silk already in my water and the lye measured. About to go mix those together. And today we're going to do an assortment of green colors. You can see I've got them lined up here ready to go. And I'll show you those again after I get them mixed in the oil. Okay, now I'm ready to measure my fragrance oil. Today we are using Fresh Outdoors from Nature's Garden. It is really, really like the Fresh Outdoors. So in addition to titanium dioxide mixed with icicle mica, we're going to use these greens. Harlequin Shimmer, Pistachio Mica, Enchanted Forest Mica, and Patina Sheen Mica. These bottom three are from Rustic Essentials and the Patina Sheen is from Brambleberry. So there are the greens for today's soap. And stir just for a moment here. You can see it starting to emulsify. left-handed so I don't block the view of the camera so I might be a little sloppy because I'm right-handed <clears throat> thick for two reasons. Number one, I'll, I've got to have time to mix my colors and get all the bottles ready. But number two, the fragrance I'm using, some of the reviews say it has slight acceleration, um, which probably makes me stupid for even <laughs> trying it with this swirl. But some of the reviews said it really wasn't that bad. And one person even said that it actually helped her swirl look prettier. Um, so Either I'm a wild woman risk taker or I'm just stubborn, which I've been told repeatedly. Um, but also, I just like to see for myself. I don't like to always just take somebody else's word for it. So we're going to see um, if I can manage this swirl using this fragrance oil. And it's emulsified. We're not really at trace yet. No trails across the top of the soap. I'm gonna burst just a couple more little mixes. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. All right, before I get too thick, I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance. <clears throat> and I am not going to mix it with the stick blender. I'm going to stir it with a spatula. I do not want to encourage any acceleration. This smells so good. If you like fresh green outdoor smells, this is a great scent. I read some people mixed it with um, another fragrance and created an odor eater spray for her husband's truck um, from when he goes fishing. Helped get rid of the fishy smell. Still pretty thin. I don't see the acceleration. But I do have to do some shaking um, when I mix the colors in, so. I'm gonna stop before I mess up. Are these great wide mouth bottles. Found those at Sam's Club. Got six of them for just over four dollars. So. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna readjust the camera now. You see how that's beginning to thicken up. It's still not super heavy or thick, but it is thicker than it was just now when I began pouring into the bottles. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different with this Helix Swirl because Kathy and I just, we prefer to have the whole soap swirly rather than the colors just be on the top. So, before I start the Helix part of the swirl, I'm going to do um, one thing a little differently. about how liquidy this is. I'm afraid this is more liquidy than all right well all I can do is try and even if it doesn't work as planned this is still a great smelling soap and the colors are gorgeous so
just wear it. Here we go. That's the first step. Leave it like that. I like that. But we're working on the DNA okay, kind of swirls. The camera out of the glare through the window. Can you see that? I love that. where I stop. Gosh, that's pretty too. And there we have the fresh outdoors DNA helix swirl. <laughs>